Exalted Void. What we got here? Don't need the Widowmaker if we're gonna get the Jaxie, I believe. Everything else is fine. Ooh, we got a Mist Dragon Seal. So we can... Um, Jaxie... Kill... Into a Mist Dragon? Maybe? Well, let's see what he does on his first turn, though. It's a lot of movement, so I'm gonna move forward and just cast Jaxi. Um, and then end turn. gonna cast a... I'm assuming a Provoker? Yep, Silver Guard Knight. And a Battle Pet with Provoke. So I can't move at all. Uh, but that doesn't matter. I'll just... Uh... See, I'll... Go like this, and then go like this. Um, let's see where I can move this to. Yeah, this is gonna die regardless, I think. Because I don't have enough cores to get that. But, um, uh, it'll, it'll still do things. I might as well move it up a little bit and then just kill the one one. And end turn. Because he's probably gonna go back to kill it. Either that or ignore it, which I don't think he should do. Because the Silver Guard Knight can't go back and kill it because it doesn't have enough range. It's probably gonna. It's going to go down and get the Mana Spring, maybe? Azurite Lion, 2 3 Celerities. Cast it behind him. So he's not gonna kill it. Um, that's something. No, oh, he's gonna arc. Arc like Sentinel, if that's weird. About who am I to judge? Um, so I'm going to just repulsor this away because I don't want to really deal with it. And I want to move. I'm going to move up and then Blood Rage Mask myself. Do cast my Blood Spell, my Bloodborne Spell to do 2 damage to the general. Um, and then I'll move... I'll miss dragon this to my corner. To do two more damage to the general. Uh, can't really do anything else, so I'll just end turn. Arrow Whistler! I don't know what his plan is though. Uh, let's move the arc like forward. And this has celerity, so you can get rid to rid of two of my charges, or I can get rid of the repulsor and one of my charge. I think he's gonna get rid of two of my charges at least. Oh. Blaze. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> so that's 12 damage. No, oh, no, he's killing that thing, which he should. 
Um, so, if that's the case, I'm just gonna kill that. Uh, move forward, cast a whistler behind me, and then Phoenix fire the general. Then I'll just enter. Now we get a spiral technique. That's three, four, five. Nine damage. I don't know if I can survive till turn. Uh, I don't know if I can survive until I get eight cores, though. I'm gonna try and live the dream. I feel like I can survive if there's no provokers, but he has four cards in hand. Um, but I hope my blood rage mask stays for at least one turn so I can do my bloodborne spell to do another damage. Because that will be three, four, five, six. I'll bring him down at eight. No, but he's gonna kill my range, so. Oh boy. So then I have to do six damage. So. I have to do my Bloodborne spell now to do bring him down to 11. Um, this will attack to bring him down to 9. Uh, and then I'll swing for 2. And then I'll end turn. So now the goal is just to survive. Um, I don't know if he has enough to do lethal. I don't know what he has in his hands. That's 10 damage I'll probably be taking. Because uh, he has the artifact. The first time your general takes damage, each turn prevent two of it. What he does. So he killed my range, my whistler. Um, so I'm going to attack the general, I'll take four, I'll be at seven, uh, does no damage. I'll attack with my heart seeker at six, and then uh, I'm gonna spiral technique. And that was game. That was a really close game. <laughs> Driving me to a corner and all that. But I just had to survive until 8 cores and then um, deal enough damage to bring him down to like at least 8 or so. And then just spiral technique. Oh, that was a good game. <laughs>